Sorry about that, babe. What's up guys, it's Cody K the Bear here and we're back with another Is It Worth Your Time review. This time we're going to be taking a look at Fantasy Star, the 35th anniversary retranslation hack or improvement for the Sega Master System. My first playthrough of Fantasy Star was a few years back, so if you'd like to see the review of that, feel free to check it out. So, what is the Fantasy Star 35th anniversary retranslation hack? Essentially, it's the original Japanese version of Fantasy Star converted and retranslated for a better narrative and experience. There are a variety of languages available, but you could assume I just used the base English retranslation from my recent playthrough that we streamed here on YouTube. If you'd like, you can watch that the way it was, or you can enjoy a two-video condensed version without the quote-unquote streamy stuff. Anyway, here's a brief overview of the contents of the hack. Narrative formatting. Window expansion. Replaced 8x8 font. Use of adapting word tokens for articles, pronouns, and other grammatical constructs for specific languages. Reworked name entry screen, FM slash PSG switching, extended safe slot names, count and interface, and quality of life improvements to reduce grinding. So now, let's break down the things that I liked and the things that I didn't like with the hack. And spoiler alert, I liked a lot of them. The good. Aside from the obvious retranslation itself, there are a bunch of great options available to choose from before starting your game, including changing your walk speed, changing the experience gained, changing the amount of mesetas gained, the amount of random battles that you encounter, changing the sprite color for Alice or Alyssa's hair, choosing between the FM soundtrack and the base North American one, changing the font type on the menus, as well as fades and text speed. For me personally, I ended up speeding up the walk speed, the fades, the text speed using the Japanese FM soundtrack and changing Alyssa's hair sprite color. I didn't touch anything revolving around battles and the things that you gain from the battles because I do prefer that old school style. However, if you're looking for a more streamlined affair, then this will be right up your alley. Apparently, the team that worked on this hack also fixed some softlock situations that would occur in the original game. And another cool thing is that the hack allows you for the ability to equip armor and weapons as soon as you purchase them. Pretty cool little quality of life upgrade. The bad. So I'll admit right off the bat that this section is going to be pretty nitpicky. There are things that I deem negative during my playthrough, but they aren't really awful or ruin the experience by any means. In fact, one of them is completely subjective. The first is just that. I didn't like the script retranslation in a few areas, namely that of what used to be dubbed burgers and colas, the healing items. I was so used to that being the name for those consumable healing items that when they were replaced with Polorimate and Ruoginen, it just didn't sit well or flow off the tongue for me. So I was a beehole and I just continued to call them colas and burgers the entire time. <laughs> Honestly, other than that, I did have some music issues in certain towns. I remember this happening on Dezorus a bit. I'm pretty sure it also happened somewhere else too. And I'm not really sure what the trigger was, but occasionally the music would just die out completely until I went out of the town. I don't remember this happening at all in the base game for me, so I'm assuming it's something hack related, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that was really about it as far as the bad. So, the question that you probably already answered for yourself. Is the Fantasy Star 35th anniversary retranslation hack worth your time? The simple answer here is, yes. To me, this is the definitive way to play the original Fantasy Star. What I mean by that is just that, being able to play the game on real hardware by flash cart, or on an emulator, or what have you. I've heard great things about the Sega Ages version of this also on the Switch, but I think if you're looking for that true old school experience with a fun translation, some options to modernize it, then this is the one for you. I thoroughly enjoyed this playthrough and I highly recommend it to any fans of Fantasy Star or someone that's looking to get into the series. If you've enjoyed this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't already. If you want to check out any of my other previous Fantasy Star content, check out the pinned comment or description below or on the end screen here. Take care and see you in the next video.